Hello everyone, just a quick word on my other batch which I currently have fermenting at the moment uh, to kick this YouTube channel off. So basically this is an IPA that I mixed uh, based on the Thomas Cooper's IPA, um, one of their premium ranges of uh, kit beer mixes. I uh, use that. I also chucked in one and a half kilos of dry mold extract. Um, and I only brewed this one up to about 19 litres rather than 20, 22 like I normally do with most of my batches. Um, I didn't unfortunately add any hops or grain at the start. I kind of wish I did now um, just to make this a really full bodied beer. Um, I did chuck in a bag of Galaxy hops uh, after about five or six days just for a bit of aroma later on. Um, so hopefully that'll, you know, I'm pretty sure it'll be drinkable. I had a taste of when I was testing the gravity yesterday, and it tastes pretty good. So I'm looking forward to drinking this one in the new year. Uh, but as for now, it is fermenting, and I'm going to be bottling that one up today. We have a cat over here who just came in to check out the progress. Yeah, so I'll bottle this batch up today. Uh, I think it should taste really nice. Um, but it was, it was pretty easy to put together. Like I said, I didn't do anything fancy at the start. Just mixed my ingredients and uh, got it going. Um, yeah, so I'm just going to continue to document my home brews. Hopefully inspire people that may be intimidated or a little bit put off from the process. I found a lot of the instructional videos out there tended to skip a whole lot of steps when I was starting out, and it kind of freaked me out. So I ended up just starting doing things, and um, it kind of works. So, yeah, just some basic videos. If an idiot like me can brew a crappy $14 batch of pure piss like that, I'm sure you can do better. Um, but you can also make nice beers like this and some of the others I've got over there that are conditioning and being tasted and drunk as we speak. All right, uh, check in later. I'll let you know how this one tastes in a few weeks' time, um, but you'll probably hear from this one at some point as well and see how disgusting home brand homebrew really is, especially if you only mix it with table sugar and honey. All right, thanks.